warm fall and expanding extreme drought conditions have helped water levels along the Mississippi River drop to record lows. The Mississippi River, once a symbol of life and prosperity in America, is currently facing a crisis unprecedented in recent history. There is no more water. How did this lifeline come to such a state? What does its situation tell us about the broader environmental challenges we face globally? The Mississippi River is at historically low levels, which could impact the food supply. This exploration dives into the historical significance of the Mississippi, once a bustling body of trade and culture, and contrasts it with its current alarming condition. As we unravel the causes, impacts, and broader implications of this crisis, we are compelled to ask, can we reverse the course of this great river's decline? Or are we witnessing a new distressing chapter in the story of our planet's environmental health? The Mississippi River, a symbol of life and prosperity in America, is currently facing a crisis unprecedented in recent history. This stark contrast becomes more evident when compared with its thriving past, a time when the river was a bustling artery of trade and culture, nurturing the land and communities along its banks. Historically, the Mississippi River has been a vital component of America's geographical and cultural identity. It's not just a river. It has been a colossal force that has shaped the landscape, culture, and economy of the United States. Originating from Lake Itasca in Minnesota and flowing down to the Gulf of Mexico, the Mississippi stretches over 2,320 miles, making it one of the world's most significant rivers. In its heyday, the river was a dynamic ecosystem teeming with life, from the majestic catfish and spirited bass to migratory birds like ducks and geese. Its fertile floodplains were sanctuaries of biodiversity, supporting an array of species and ecosystems which is why it comes as such a shock for what has happened with the Mississippi River. There is no more water. The river's historical significance is deeply intertwined with the growth of American civilization. It has been a witness to the flow of generations, playing a pivotal role in exploration, trade, and the cultural intermingling of diverse communities. The Mississippi has been a witness to significant historical events, shaping the nation through times of war and peace, its banks have seen the rise and fall of civilizations, each leaving their mark on this waterway. During healthier times, the Mississippi was a lifeline for trade and commerce. Steamboats and barges traversed its waters, carrying goods and people, fostering economic growth and development. Cities like Memphis owe much of their prosperity to the river, which facilitated the exchange of ideas and commodities. The river was not just a channel for transportation, it was a source of inspiration, recreation, and solace for many. Anglers, boaters, and nature enthusiasts found a deep connection with the river, reinforcing its status as an integral part of American life. However, the current situation of the Mississippi River paints a worrying picture. The once mighty and vibrant river is experiencing alarmingly low water levels, this drastic change is not just a temporary weather situation, but a severe threat to the river's existence and the communities dependent on it. The implications of this crisis are severe, impacting industries, ecosystems, and the lives of millions. The river's decline is a wake-up call, highlighting the urgency of addressing climate change and implementing sustainable practices to preserve this vital waterway for future generations. As we delve deeper into this crisis, we must remember the river's historical significance and the crucial role it has played in shaping America's past and present. The river's physical state presents a jarring contrast to its typically strong flow, now marked by extensive dry riverbeds and stranded boats, a visible symbol of the severity of the prolonged droughts. When compared to historical averages, the river's water levels have decreased markedly. For example, in certain regions, the Mississippi's depth is now five feet below its usual range. Data from the U.S. Geological Survey underscores these variations, with principal monitoring stations indicating water levels that are, on average, four feet lower than the long-term norms for this season. In specific locations, such as Vicksburg, Mississippi, water levels have dropped to near record lows, approaching the historic low levels last seen decades ago. Similarly, in Memphis, Tennessee, and other key points along the river, 
Measurements show water levels are several feet below normal, disrupting navigation and commerce. Shipping and barge traffic, critical for transporting goods along the river, are severely hindered, with some parts of the river becoming unnavigable. This disruption has significant economic implications, affecting supply chains and increasing transportation costs. Additionally, the ecological impact is considerable. The river's ecosystems, which depend on a certain water level for health and balance, are under stress. Fish populations and other aquatic life are at risk due to the changing habitat conditions. The current situation of the Mississippi River serves as a poignant indicator of the broader environmental challenges faced due to climate change. The river's diminished state, captured through both visual evidence and stark statistical data, underscores the urgent need for effective water management and environmental conservation strategies. The current crisis engulfing the Mississippi River, marked by its rapidly receding waters, is a complex issue with roots deeply embedded in both climate change impacts and human influence. The effects of global warming are altering precipitation patterns, which in turn drastically affect the river. Rising global temperatures have led to increased evaporation rates, reducing the water available to feed into the river system. This change in the hydrological cycle is evident in the shifting patterns of rainfall and snowmelt that used to replenish the river. Data from climate studies show a trend towards more intense and frequent dry spells in regions feeding the Mississippi, disrupting the once reliable flow of water. These temperature changes are not just surface phenomena, they penetrate deep into the river's ecosystem. Warmer temperatures affect the river's biology, from the smallest microorganisms to the largest fish, altering breeding cycles and habitat conditions. The United States Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, and other scientific bodies have published data correlating rising temperatures with declining river levels, highlighting the direct impact of climate change on the Mississippi. Human activities along the Mississippi have also altered its natural state. The construction of dams and extensive water diversion for agricultural purposes have transformed the river. These structures regulate and redirect the flow for irrigation and consumption, often prioritizing human needs over ecological balance. The result is a river that is less able to cope with the natural variances of climate, as its flow is artificially controlled and often diminished. Urbanization and industrialization along the riverbanks have further compounded the problem. Cities and industries discharge pollutants into the river, while their infrastructures often impede natural water flow. Urban development in floodplains has reduced the river's natural ability to expand and contract with the seasons, a key mechanism in maintaining its health and resilience. In summary, the Mississippi River crisis is a product of both the broader effects of climate change and the specific impacts of human intervention. The changing climate brings altered precipitation patterns and temperature changes, directly influencing river levels, while human activities through damming, diversion, and urbanization further disrupt the river's natural state. This dual assault has left the river vulnerable, transforming a once mighty waterway into a symbol of environmental fragility. This river, known for its rich biodiversity, is experiencing significant ecological shifts. The lowered water levels have led to habitat loss and altered the river's ecological dynamics, impacting species that depend on specific water conditions for survival. Fish species such as the catfish, bass, and sturgeon are facing critical challenges. These species rely on the river for spawning and feeding. Lower water levels mean reduced spawning grounds and food sources, leading to a decline in fish populations. This decline not only affects the river's ecological balance, but also impacts local fishing industries and recreational fishing, both of which are vital to the region's economy and culture. The situation is equally dire for wildlife habitats along the river. The Mississippi's floodplains and wetlands, which provide essential habitats for migratory birds, are shrinking. Species like ducks and geese depend on these areas for nesting and feeding during their migratory journeys. The loss of these habitats could lead to a decrease in bird populations and affect the broader migratory patterns across the region. The Mississippi River's biodiversity is under significant threat due to the ongoing drought. This river, once teeming with diverse aquatic and terrestrial species, 
is witnessing a shift in its ecological character. The reduced water levels and changing conditions are creating an environment that is less hospitable to many native species, leading to a potential loss in biodiversity. Aquatic life, particularly sensitive to changes in water quality and temperature, is at risk. Species that require specific conditions are struggling to adapt to the rapidly changing environment. This situation is followed by the increased concentration of pollutants in the water as levels drop, further threatening aquatic life. Terrestrial species along the riverbanks are also affected. The alteration in the landscape, due to the receding water, impacts the flora and fauna that have adapted to the river's ebb and flow. The changing landscape could lead to a shift in species composition along the river, with some species declining, while others, potentially invasive, might thrive. The drastic reduction in the Mississippi River's water levels has unleashed a number of economic repercussions, particularly in areas of shipping and trade. The Mississippi has been severely hampered by the drought, and this disruption has immediate and far-reaching effects on the shipping industry, which is a foundation of the American economy. Barges, which once navigated the river's channels with ease, are now facing significant challenges due to the reduced water depth. These barges are critical for transporting a wide array of commodities, including agricultural products, raw materials, and finished goods. With their movement restricted, there is a direct impact on the supply chain. Delays and increased costs in transportation are inevitable, leading to a ripple effect across various sectors. The cost of shipping goods via alternative routes or methods is significantly higher, which in turn increases the overall cost of these goods. The impact of this disruption is not limited to the shipping industry alone. It has a domino effect on trade, both domestically and internationally. The Mississippi River serves as a major export route, especially for agricultural commodities. With its diminished capacity, exports are hindered, affecting trade balances and international market dynamics. The economic impact of the Mississippi River's condition extends to local and national economies, with agriculture being particularly hard hit. The river's dwindling levels are a double blow to the agricultural sector. On one hand, farmers are struggling with water scarcity for irrigation, leading to reduced crop yields and higher production costs. This situation threatens the livelihood of farmers and could lead to increased food prices, affecting consumers nationwide. On the other hand, the transportation challenges posed by the low river levels hinder the movement of agricultural products to markets. This bottleneck can lead to supply shortages and further raise food prices. The agricultural sector, a significant contributor to the national economy, is thus facing a crisis that could have long-term economic consequences. Moreover, the economic impact is not confined to agriculture alone. Industries that rely on the river for water supply or waste disposal are also facing challenges. The reduced water flow affects their operations, potentially leading to decreased production and increased costs, and has triggered a multifaceted economic crisis. The impact on shipping and trade, coupled with the challenges faced by the agricultural sector and other industries, underscores the river's critical role in the national economy. This situation calls for urgent and strategic responses to mitigate the economic fallout and safeguard the future of the river and the myriad economies that depend on it. In towns along this historic river, the impact of the vanishing water is not just a statistic, it's a daily struggle that touches every aspect of life. For instance, in small river towns, the river's retreat has left docks stranded and boats unable to navigate, crippling the local fishing industry that many residents rely on for their livelihood. The decrease in fish populations due to changing habitats further aggravates this issue. Farmers, often referred to as the backbone of these communities, face an uphill battle. The river's receding waters mean that irrigation, a critical component of agriculture in the region, has become increasingly challenging. This has led to reduced crop yields and higher food prices, affecting not only the farmers but also the entire community that depends on this produce. As the river's water levels drop, communities that have historically depended on it for drinking water now face severe shortages. This scarcity poses significant health risks, 
particularly in underprivileged communities where access to alternative water sources is limited. The altered river dynamics have led to unexpected ecological changes, such as increased algae blooms. These blooms can contaminate water supplies, making the water unsafe for consumption and increasing the risk of waterborne diseases. The health implications are severe, placing an additional burden on already strained healthcare systems in these communities. The mental health impact on these populations is also noteworthy. The uncertainty and stress caused by the loss of a reliable water source and the economic instability that follows are leading to increased anxiety and stress-related disorders among residents. The river, once a symbol of life and prosperity, has become a source of constant worry. Environmental scientists and geologists are deeply concerned about the rapid changes in the Mississippi River. Dr. Jane Holloway, an environmental scientist, emphasizes, the Mississippi is not just a river, it's an ecological barometer. Its current state is a clear indicator of broader environmental issues, including climate change and unsustainable water management practices. Geologist Dr. Aaron Lee echoes this sentiment, stating, the river's decline is a complex interplay of human activity and natural climatic variations. The sediment deposits, crucial for maintaining the river's health, are being disrupted, which has long-term implications for the river's structure and flow. These experts highlight a range of perspectives. Some focus on immediate human impacts and the need for sustainable water management, while others emphasize long-term geological changes, indicating a multifaceted crisis requiring a diverse approach to solutions. Recent studies present a grim picture of the Mississippi River's future. A 2022 study by the National Water Research Institute found that if current trends continue, significant portions of the Mississippi could become non-navigable by 2040, severely impacting trade and ecosystems. The study also predicts increased frequency of both droughts and floods due to climate change, further destabilizing the river's flow. Another research project, conducted by the University of Southern Mississippi, focuses on the ecological impacts. Their data suggest a 30% decline in native fish species over the past decade, directly correlated with the changing river conditions. This decline in biodiversity could have cascading effects on the entire ecosystem. Future predictions based on these trends are concerning. Scientists warn of a potential ecological collapse if the river's health continues to deteriorate at the current rate. They also foresee significant socioeconomic impacts, particularly in communities dependent on the river for livelihood, if immediate action is not taken to address these challenges. The plight of the Mississippi River is not an isolated case, but part of a global pattern of river health decline. For instance, the Colorado River in the United States and the Yangtze River in China have also experienced significant stress due to a combination of overuse, climate change, and environmental mismanagement. The Colorado River, which supplies water to over 40 million people, has seen its flow diminish significantly in recent years. Like the Mississippi, the Colorado River has been affected by prolonged droughts, further agitated by extensive water extraction for agriculture and urban use. Similarly, the Yangtze River, one of the longest rivers in the world, faces pollution, overfishing, and the impacts of large-scale infrastructure projects like dams, which have altered its natural flow and ecosystem. These parallels highlight a global pattern of major rivers under stress due to human activity and climate change. The challenges faced by these rivers are not just local or regional issues, but are indicative of a global water crisis. The declining health of the Mississippi River and other major rivers worldwide is a stark reminder of the broader implications of global climate change. Rivers are essential components of the Earth's hydrological cycle, supporting diverse ecosystems, human populations, and economies. Their degradation signals a disruption in this cycle, with far-reaching consequences. Climate change, primarily driven by human activities such as fossil fuel combustion and deforestation, is leading to more extreme weather patterns. This results in more severe and prolonged droughts, as seen with the Mississippi, and also in catastrophic flooding, as observed in other parts of the world. These extreme events not only affect river health, but also threaten biodiversity, food security, and the livelihoods of millions of people. In response, 
international efforts in river conservation are gaining momentum. Initiatives like the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal, six aim to ensure the availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all, highlighting the critical need for water conservation and sustainable management practices. Additionally, transboundary water cooperation agreements are being forged to manage shared water resources sustainably. Organizations such as the Worldwide Fund for Nature WWF, and the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, are actively involved in river conservation projects. These include efforts to restore natural river flows, improve water quality, and protect critical habitats. In conclusion, the crisis facing the Mississippi River is a microcosm of a global challenge. It greatly emphasizes the urgent need for joint global action to address climate change and implement sustainable water management practices. The health of our rivers is inextricably linked to the health of our planet, making their conservation a priority for ensuring a sustainable future for all. Thanks for exploring with us on Beyond Discovery. If you enjoyed these revelations, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen. It's unbelievable.